Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests to have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Alexander Christian Nygaard on the line, and he's a CEO over at White Shark Media. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you, Adam. I'm, I'm very happy to uh, to be here. All right, Alex. So uh, excited to talk more about White Shark Media today and also about, you know, how you got started in business and as an entrepreneur. Um, and just to get us kicked off, let's start with the Mission Matters um, statement. So, uh, Alex, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. So that's our mission here. Alex, what mission matters to you? So, uh, so Adam, uh, what what mission matters to me is uh, for for our company. Uh, we're uh, and it ties to our, um, you know, to our to our story as well about how we got started. We're based here in uh, in Nicaragua. Our company is a U.S. company. We have offices in, in the U.S. We have offices here in Nicaragua. Um, we do advertising, um, and um, that's very commercial. Uh, but what we also do is uh, is help uh, businesses uh, grow. Scale by by basically doing a lot of their efforts within lead generation. So a big part of our mission is is uh, is to assist, help uh, companies focus on what they like to do, and then we take care of uh, other parts of their business, such as the lead generation that um, that is potentially not the passion of the entrepreneur or the business that we're helping. Um, so that would say that's it pretty well. Man, that's awesome. I um, love bringing uh, mission-based businesses and entrepreneurs on the show to share with my audience. Um, so let's just, I mean, just to, just to get this kicked off, I mean, tell us a little bit more about uh, how you got started as an entrepreneur. So uh, I would say that I'm a, I'm a hardcore entrepreneur, uh, Adam. Um, that's my background. Um, mm. I um, started uh, my first business when I was uh, 19. Uh, and uh, and since then I haven't stopped. Um, I uh, sucked at it in the beginning. So the first couple of businesses, you know, was a lot of learning, a lot of mistakes, um, and um, and some closed also. Uh, and I'll say I was into my 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 third business before I um, started becoming just somehow good at it, um, and and also had made a, a proper pick in terms of what I wanted to do. Um, so. I uh, I have been an entrepreneur all my life. Uh, I am still an entrepreneur. I'm still very excited about it. Um, and um, and yeah, I've been going since uh, uh, since I was uh, since I was a young man, uh, and I haven't been doing anything else since. Man, I, I'm excited with you over here, Alex. I can I can hear that fire in your voice. Uh, like it sounds to me like you're you're still motivated each and every day. And um, I, I like that I you said that. You know, in the beginning. Yeah, I like that you said in the beginning. You know, a couple of them didn't work out so well, right? And we all and that same here. No. And uh, for anybody that's been yeah. doing this for long enough, that that's just part of the part of the game, so to speak. So um, there's a lot of that's younger of entrepreneurs. Game. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of younger entrepreneurs also listening right now, or maybe not even just age-wise. I just mean like they might be on their first business, um, regardless of age. Uh, what kind of advice mm-hmm. would you give? Because we all we all learn like from you know the ups, the downs, the sideways, everything in between, lots of bumps and bruises. So what what would you tell us all yeah. the new entrepreneurs that are just getting started? 
Yeah, it's, it's a good question. Uh, I, um, I, I, I'm so lucky now that uh, not only uh, am I uh, blessed and, and able to uh, invest my time and, and see this company that I built uh, 10 years ago uh, grow from uh, a bootstrap uh, little office and, and two founders, that was I was one of them, uh, to now a 120-man uh, uh, size business with significant revenues, significant positive EBITDA, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm very fortunate with that. And, uh, and, 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 a, and a part of my time, uh, especially over the, the, the span of next year, uh, will be spent on investing in, in projects uh, very specifically here in, in Nicaragua. So I do have the chance to speak with a lot of, the, you can say, young, uh, upcoming entrepreneurs that comes with either their first project or second project or whatever. Uh, and I think that, I think it's, I mean, there's, there's so many advices uh, and, and, you know, you have to sit down with the, with the specific entrepreneur to be more precise in your advice. But I think there are some, some general things that, that I would maybe like to highlight. Um, and that is that you, um, if, if you want to become an entrepreneur, you have to really, uh, uh, you know, understand and, and accept that it's going to be a, a, a long journey. It's, it's a tough road. Um, many times you walk it alone, um, you're not going to be rich immediately. So if your target is to make a lot of money and you believe that wealth is, is going to come your way quickly, um, then you have to be really careful. So you have to go into it uh, with the right foundation, with the right mindset, but also to, also acknowledging that it's going to be a long journey. Uh, and as an example, in, in, in White Shark, uh, I think we were into our fourth year before I made my first uh, monthly uh, salary um, and uh, for the first two to three years uh, uh, we were um, we were making revenue we were making money in white shark um, but the um, the way we were funding it um, and we reinvested those money by the way into our uh, constantly so but we were funding it by uh, by selling uh, and that was a, you can say a, a company that I left to found, found white shark kept that company uh, and we, we, we still had it. That was a Danish-based company. So in the night, we were selling radio advertising um, from a handheld phone because we're back at, at, in, in 2009. So we're sitting all night uh, pitching radio ads to our radio clients in Denmark. And then uh, we were busy during the daytime doing white chat media and building that business. So it was, it was really a hustle. Uh, it was really 24-7. Um, and, uh, but it was tough. Uh, and, it, it, you know, it... it it, it comes with with with, a, with some sacrifices to your family, to your friends. Um, so I would say, if you don't have that uh, stamina, if you haven't realized and, and, and said to yourself, "This is going to be tough. This is going to be a long journey." Whatever product, whatever software you want to develop, whatever service business you want to do, if you don't realize that this is going to be a hell of a tough journey, unless you're one of the lucky few, uh, then you shouldn't be an entrepreneur. So, so really realizing that and and understanding that it's it, it's very important. Um, and then secondly, now we've talked about we've talked about failure. We've talked about um, mistakes uh, that we all do, and I still do them, by the way. So uh, I'm, I'm well into my almost 20th year here as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, and I can say safely that I probably make a, a couple of mistakes uh, um, every week, maybe uh, maybe more. Uh, I make mistakes in my private life and business life. So we all make mistakes, and and. Uh, and it's important that uh, as, you, as you as an entrepreneur accept that, embrace it, um, and don't don't beat yourself down on it. You know, so if you make a mistake, uh, accept it, learn from it, and then move on. Uh, and um, I'll say that that would be some of my immediate advices without knowing the specific entrepreneur that we would be talking about. Man, that's awesome. That's great advice. Um, and let's uh, let's talk a little bit more about White Shark Media. So you gave us a little bit. Let's go further. So tell us a little bit more about the company. Yeah. Great. So yeah, we are a um, we are a uh, what you would call a PPC agency, and and in layman's terms, that's a company where a company that manages uh, uh, basically spends. We manage investment on. Uh, Google uh, Ads and Microsoft Ads, those two platforms. So all the products that Google has in their advertising uh, platform, which is their search products, their video products, which is YouTube, um, and their display uh, network, uh, and vice versa for Microsoft. 
uh, we manage uh, accounts. We manage a little bit of over uh, a thousand accounts uh, that are our direct customers. So we manage a little bit over six to seven thousand accounts that are uh, managed through our agency portfolio. So, uh, so we basically invest uh, those money on those platforms, and we were, we we are securing a maximum return of, of that investment. And that can be for a dentist, it can be for a home service company, it can be e-commerce. So we have a very wide array of verticals that we work with. Uh, and basically our, um, our, our function is to say, okay, you have a thousand dollars or you have a $2,000 a month. Uh, the dentist wants to spend that $2,000 on acquiring uh, more patients, new patients, uh, and more revenue, of course. They want to run a business, and and we then come in and uh, take those budgets, take those funds. Uh, we master uh, that craft. Uh, our whole company organization is built to master that craft to perfection. At least that's what we believe. Uh, and um, and we then secure that dentist that they will get uh, a maximum return of, of that investment. The dentist pays us. And we place the money on on those uh, on those advertisements, advertising products available in 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 the Google Ads, Microsoft Ads uh, portfolio, um, and then we do and then we do uh, software as well. So we we've evolved since started, but we're still very focused. That's still our core business in White Shark. We work directly with the customer, and we also work with with entire agencies that outsource all of their uh, you can say PPC portfolios to to White Shark Media. And we're talking about agencies that has. Uh, five clients, and we're talking about agencies that have 4,000 clients that we that we work with, um, and and it's mainly in in the North America. And then on top of that, we do uh, software. So we have a, a software development team. So we have a SaaS product. Also, we launched recently that caters to the same market that facilitates uh, some of the processes, very much sales related processes. Um, and and that product we launched in. In, in 2020, and it's called White Shark Media Compass. So that's a software product that's a part of our revenue stream now as well. And then we have great ambitions uh, for for the for the near future. So so that kind of encompasses is uh, what we do. So uh, Alex, you know, there's some business owners uh, that are that are listening to this right now. That still, and, and especially along mm-hmm. the lines of what you're talking about, like that traditional dentist, that lawyer, you know, the, um, you know, some of these traditional, that financial advisor, some of these traditional um, professional professions out there that still haven't really gone the PPC route, or still haven't done too much online in terms of advertising. I mean, let, let just to give yeah. you know some basics. I mean, how does how does like working with an agency like yours work? Um, because I, I feel like a lot of people maybe want to do on advertising on Google and other things, mm. but they just haven't done it yet, and it's kind of it's kind of hard to make that mm. step, so to speak. Because maybe they maybe they had their office person like set up an ad once or something, and they just didn't have the best experience the first time because it wasn't necessarily working yeah, yeah. with an agency like yours. Can you just you know speak to yeah. that for a moment? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I think that it's a very, it's a very relevant uh, um, question and, and topic. I think that uh, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of suppliers, there's a lot of demand, but there's also a lot of a lot of suppliers within our vertical. Uh, we, uh, I can tell you with full honesty, we 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 gone we we went through our process ourselves, where we were. I mean, first of all, um, we started with a product that was fully transparent. So it worked. How it works with White Shark is that we we do not uh, uh, charge a, a, a client uh, a fixed amount that includes spend, management fees, and then we kind of uh, sh- show them what we want to show the client. We, we have a very transparent business model where we work based on the client's account and the client pays us a management fee. That's it. They can leave us day to day. We don't have any contracts. We don't have any commitment from uh, the the individual client because they don't want to be clients with us. If they don't want to, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't think that we deliver the results that they expect us to, uh, then we uh, then we don't want them to stay because of a 12 month contract. So that's that's our model. We've always wanted that. We started like that in a very muddy market uh, where there was a very little uh, amount of transparency. We said we want to be the transparent one. We want to. Um, offer a product where we are uh, hired by and, and, and where we have 
tick rate from our clients because they actually enjoy the product we give them, and it's because we because we give them the return that they're looking for. So, so that's how White Shark does it, and and um, and uh, it's it's very simple. Uh, we uh, we uh, we work on an account uh, about uh, for an average advertiser. We work on an account uh, about six to ten hours uh, every month, optimize it work on it, and we have a team that is completely dedicated to uh, to, to that uh, vertical specifically. Um, so, so we have a lot of expertise within the verticals we work within, uh, and we do a lot of dedication. We have a lot of transparency. And I'll say that that's one of the main uh, differentiators, but we have not always been perfect either. So we, we've had a, a, a great run recently. Uh, when we started, we were very focused on PPC. We were very focused on, on pay-per-click. Uh, then we started. It, it went well, you know. We had success, so we said, "Okay, this is this is this is going uh, uh, flipping great. Let's just expand our services quickly. We scale very quickly. Uh, and in all honesty, we came, became a little bit, you know, mediocre at some of the services services that we had launched. So we so we found ourselves in this situation where we had scaled maybe a little bit too fast. We had lost a little bit the focus uh, and um, and um, and then in 2017 when when I uh, took the helm, and I was not always the CEO. I was always a founder. But when 2017, when we, when I took the helm as CEO, we said, you know, uh, let's uh, let's get great. Let's get great at one thing. Let's be very specialized. Let's not be the jack of all trades and the master of none. But let's be a half core expert in what we actually started this business with, and that's PPC. So we're very focused on that, and that's I think is one of our strengths, and that's also why our clients. Uh, are getting uh, a high quality product uh, and a high high return of the investment because we do PPC. That's what we do here in White Shark Media. We don't have tons of other products. Yes, we have our software, but we don't have tons of other advertising products that we are trying to fit into the mix or native products for that matter. So a lot of agencies they have their uh, you know high margin products that is a native product uh, and 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 that they're trying to push because the margin is better. But not better for the client necessarily. So, uh, so, so, so there is sometimes a conflict between doing what's best for the agency or the business, uh, or or doing what's best for the client. So, so we always have the client in mind. Our our clients' uh, uh, ROI and well-being and success is our focus number one. Um, that's what we're looking at. Our key objective and core objective in our company every year is client centricity. That's what we go by. That's what we live by. Uh, and again. Well, I would say that one of the main differentiators is our focus and hardcore focus on being extraordinary at one thing rather than being, you know, semi at a lot of things. That's awesome. Um, Alex, I'll tell you, uh, I can talk to you about this uh, all day long, but we're, we're about out of time for today's episode. Um, yeah. If somebody's, I know we just warmed up. Um, if somebody's listening to this right yeah. now and they, and they want to learn more about White Shark Media, whether they're a, um, a business owner looking to do it for themselves or maybe, and this is a marketing show, so there's a lot of agencies that listen to this too and they're looking for yeah. ideas and, and business partners. So on that side too, yeah. um, if they're agents, He's looking to partner and expand their offerings. I mean, what's the best way for people to, to follow up and to learn more? I mean, the, anyone is welcome to write me, first of all, directly on my email, acn at whitesharkmedia.com. Uh, but uh, our website, whitesharkmedia.com, is, is a good place to start. Uh, you can read a little bit about our products and services. Um, and I do want to say to, 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 to just address the the, the one thing you mentioned about the business owner that potentially wants to start themselves, it's something that we also support. We have a free uh, set of online courses as well on wsmcompass.com uh, where you can go in as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a business owner and get access to courses on how to actually set up your own account. So we really support that. We don't only go for the, the client that wants to pay us. We want to support the ecosystem and that's what we build that. So but whitechartmedia.com, W-H-I-T-E, Shark, S-H-A-R-K, media.com. That would be a great place to start or like my email directly that I just gave you a little bit earlier. Fantastic. Well, Alex, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great work that you're doing over at White Shark Media. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Definitely like you to be a return visitor and a return listener. And uh, Alex, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. 
Thank you, Adam. My pleasure.